name's Dan Siskin, and uh, I'm from Minneapolis, Minnesota. And uh, I built a landing ship tank, LST. There were 2,000 ships like this built in World War II. Basically, it's designed to hold 24 uh, Sherman tanks or about 30 smaller tanks. And uh, basically, what it would do is you could put, you could load this up with tanks um, in the U.S. or wherever you're transporting from, land directly on the beach. The bow doors open up, ramp comes down, the tanks can drive right onto the onto the dry ground. So was, in World War II, this was totally top secret. Nobody else had them. Only the United States and the British had these. There's, a, there's actually a boat on top of the boat. It's a, a smaller landing craft, um, too small to travel across the ocean on its own. So they would, they would, they would, uh, one of these big landing ships, um, when they left the United States, they would usually have a smaller landing craft on the deck. When they got close to where they were gonna, going to uh, be fighting or deploying, they would drop the smaller boats off the side and have uh, more landing craft, more, more, uh, uh, I guess just equipment where they need it yeah, to be. Yeah, that makes sense. So it does have tanks in the hull. <clears throat> There's a tank deck um, where this tank is coming out of. It's big enough to hold 24 of these. this type of tank. This is a Sherman. And then they would have other smaller, lighter vehicles up on the top. They would fill these things up. Um, so we have half tracks, trucks, jeeps, um, and then troops. Basically, you can hold about 200 troops in here. Um, and they would they would sleep on the ship until it got to its destination, and they would either go out the bow ramp or they would go off some of the smaller boats. You can see at the back of the ship there are a couple of smaller boats. Um, they were called Higgins boats, named after the company that built, designed, and built them. Um, and they would basically, I mean, you have like a mobile assault force right here. Yeah, yeah, this is very impressive. And how long is this exactly? Um, well, the real ship is three hundred about three hundred twenty-five feet long. This is 135th scale, so it's almost 10 feet long. Okay, almost 10 feet long. Any idea how many pieces? I have no idea. <laughs> I stopped counting at about three. So it's, uh, yeah, it's probably 10 to 20,000 pieces. What you see here, just the ship, is about two weeks. And all the other little models, some were built before and some were built after. So there's probably about a month's worth of building time put into this song altogether. Okay, very cool. And real quick, you want to tell us, uh, you run Brick Mania, correct? Sure. That makes custom Lego military stuff. You want to exactly. tell us about that real quick? Yeah, exactly. Uh, Brick Mania, we're based in Minneapolis. Uh, we build uh, historic custom ships, kits. <laughs> we build ships, we build, you know, uh, airplanes, tanks, vehicles, um, even do minifigs. Uh, and we are a brick arms dealer, so we have lots of weapons, and it all kind of fits together in a system, uh, all historical military stuff. Um, and then uh, uh, we're, in, we're based in Minneapolis, and we have a warehouse there in Minneapolis that once a month we open that up to the, the, the general public, a free open house. And we have stuff like this on display. Two local train clubs are based out of there, Lego train clubs. Um, so basically, Brick Mania is this company that makes the kits. And, and, yeah, we do this. You know, that that's one aspect. And the other aspect is we just have our, our warehouse that is just a bunch of grown ups having fun. And we invite, you know, once a month we invite the general public in to come have fun with us too.